Yeah. I have to say I was very, very disappointed in uh, President Angel's statement that he put out today. Um, I had a conversation with him early this morning, uh, and I urged him to make sure that he, you know, saw the full breadth of information that was available. Uh, in that statement, he acknowledged he didn't know all the details, and yet he still took actions based on not knowing all the details, which I think is a mistake. Um, I've had a chance to uh, go to the police department today to have a full briefing, uh, to look at the video uh, that's available. Uh, that shows um, some really troubling actions by a very small handful of individuals uh, who were violent, who were destructive, who were uh, firing uh, fireworks at our police offices, hitting police offices with those fireworks, uh, people who were throwing rocks, who were throwing bottles, uh, individuals who were lighting fires, uh, breaking windows, uh, individuals, in some cases, who had in their backpacks gasoline and rags. Uh, you don't do that because you're planning on going to a protest uh, with uh, just the idea of having your views heard. Uh, you go with the plan of having uh, actions that are going to create violence and chaos. Uh, now I want to make this really crystal clear. I went to the protest uh, along with the mayor, along with the chief of police, along with several thousand other uh, folks from Worcester and beyond uh, that was completely um, you know, consistent with the kind of First Amendment exercise that uh, we should all be proud of. Uh, and the police department participated in that and the police department helped facilitate the march from City Hall down to the courthouse. The same police department that had done uh, likewise with some young protesters on Sunday who walked side by side with them. Uh, this is the same police department that made sure everybody was safe and their First Amendment rights were protected. Uh, what happened hours after the protest had ended, uh, 9.30 at night, uh, in the Maine South area was not part of the protest. What was happening there was a smaller group of folks who were bent on violence, and you know, unfortunately we've seen this in many parts of the country. The protests were appropriate, and we participated in that protest. We support that protest. Uh, that protest was exactly what you want to see in a healthy, thriving democracy, where people get their voices heard uh, and get their very legitimate concerns aired. What we saw from 9.30 until 1.30 in the morning uh, was vandalism, uh, was people who were acting in a way that was completely inconsistent with that peaceful protest that we saw earlier. So uh, I was disappointed that the president of the car uh, wouldn't wait until he got all of the information to make his judgment call, um, because there's more information out there in the video I've seen of our of a uh, small number of actors who acted uh, violently, uh, acted unlawfully, uh, and a Worcester Police Department that acted with great restraint, great professionalism, well-trained, uh, and in a way that I think is consistent with uh, the most uh, noble, uh, you know, exercise of, uh, you know, restraint that you could expect from a police department. So um, I was disappointed in the president's statement, very uh, proud of the protesters yesterday, very proud of the Worcester Police Department uh, and this handful of folks I think were an aberration and not reflective of the vast majority of the protesters. There were a few different things going on. There was that core group of protesters that um, you know was focused in the main South area. At the same time there was some violence, uh, vandalism, looting that was happening in specific other locations in the city. I don't know, to be honest with you, whether that was connected with this or that was opportunistic activities, that because the police were tied up with this core group here, the people took advantage of uh, looting uh, different locations. I know there was a, a store on uh, Lincoln Street that was hit. I know there was another business in Webster Square that was hit. Uh, so I don't know to the extent that they're connected or just coincidental to the timing. Uh, but uh, certainly, and I expect that the uh, footage will uh, be shared, and I know Matt's live, was streaming live, 
uh, for a good chunk of uh, last night. And I think it's pretty clear you can see some of the behaviors uh, that precipitated uh, those arrests and throwing rocks, bottles, etc. And there's a really disturbing footage of a police cruiser completely surrounded by 60 to 70 people uh, in a very aggressive fashion. And to the officer's credit, he didn't move, he didn't try to drive through that. Uh, that could have gone very wrong. Uh, and it goes to the officer's professionalism and, you know, restraint uh, that he called for uh, backup uh, and that crowd was able to be dispersed before anybody got hurt, uh, either the officer or any of the protesters. I know the mayor wanted to make our remarks. I just, uh, I thought we were pretty proud to see the way it conducted itself on, with the uh, uh, demonstrations on Saturday on Sunday and on Monday. And I want to thank Christian King and Empire Black Voices and the organization for putting this together. It was a well done, it was a well done demonstration. And I've never seen a crowd as big as this in my uh, over 20 years of service in the, um, on the city council here in Worcester. And I too was very dismayed about the vandalism that occurred later on that night. Uh, and it shouldn't tarnish what we accomplished here in the city of Worcester. I want to thank the police department for how they conducted themselves professionally and restrained themselves. You know, I went over this with the city manager and how we acted. And people that remember one thing, in the end of all this is said and done, nobody gets seriously hurt here in the city of Worcester. That means the police tactically handled themselves uh, in this matter. Uh, with that, I wish the uh, statement didn't come out by clock. We don't need to divide this city. We need to keep it coming together like we are going forward. And uh, we have a lot of things to, to accomplish here and to make grounds on here when it comes to structural racism here in the city of Worcester and elsewhere. So uh, we need to move forward as a community.